Hi guys, today we received an iPhone 10 that kind of power on and even the phone body was bent. After teardown, we can't find any visible trace of corrosion or discoloration on motherboard. How should we make the troubleshooting job? In this repair course, we are going to share how to deal with these problems with you. This is a badly injured iPhone 10. The screen glass was cracked into pieces and the whole body was bent visibly. Now let's try to power on the iPhone 10. Nothing happens. Let's disassemble the phone and check out where the problem is. Unbolt two pendulum screws. Disconnect screen and all flexes. Take out the motherboard. After testing, we know that motherboard has a short circuit. Common motherboard short circuited problem probably happens on battery anode and main power supply circuit resistance. Let's test their value now. Anode resistance of battery works well. And the further test shows main power supply resistance stop working. Turn on intelligent CPU desoldering heating station. Heat the motherboard to 180 degrees for 2 minutes in order to separate two layer board. So which board had the short circuited problem? The upper AP board or the lower BB board? Take the upper AP board and mirroring with UT120A digital multimeter. It shows upper board works well. Then let's test the lower board. The problem happened on this board. Observing it carefully with microscope, we found no sign of corrosion or discoloration. To find the short-circuited component from board, we use Chainly PCB thermal image to locate it. First, put the lower board and the PCB thermal image. Next, apply 4 volt to the main power supply resistance on the motherboard. At the same time, carefully observe the temperature change on the thermal image. We see there is a capacitor temperature rise rapidly. So the problem happened here. After that, let's check the circuit diagram. According to thermal imager, the bed capacitor is C5029. Since it's a filter capacitor, we can remove it directly without effect form function. Now let's measure the resistance value again. The value has already back to normal. Put the two layers motherboard on the desoldering station. Hit the map for 2 minutes so that they can be jointed again. And then let's install the motherboard back to the housing. We replace a new screen with the film for the iPhone 10. Now it turns on successfully. Then we test all functions again. Camera works and it can focus as usual. Input SIM card back. There a number. Phone connected and the loudspeaker works well. After all functions test, phone not power on problem of this iPhone 10 has been fixed successfully. During motherboard repairing, sometimes we can't locate where the bed circuit is. In this case, we can use PCB infrared thermal image to find out the short circuit component. It's much more accurate and faster than finding them with eyes. Thanks for watching, guys. If you are interested in the tool we used, please visit our website for more tool choices.